Hey, what's up, everybody? Seth Films here, and... That's right, today we're going to be doing the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger morph pack from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, what you will need for this video is a compositing software of your choice. I will be using Adobe After Effects, the video of your actor behind a green screen, photo of the morpher, and the ability to use lens flares or footage that would work in a similar vein. All right, first off, we're gonna check out our final product. Triceratops! So now let's hope your audio sounds a lot better than mine. Uh, we actually shot this particular uh, footage in a warehouse. So let's start off by creating a new composition that matches the aspect ratio, frame rate, and other settings of your footage. Next, we're going to create a black solid, add optical flares to that solid, and then move the flare to the center of the frame and make it blue. Kind of looks like the Digimon Digivice uh, look thing. I don't know. Now we adjust the brightness to whatever uh, suits your needs. Uh, I'm gonna just try to match the settings of my previous composition, but you don't have to. You can just do whatever you feel like. I'd like to reiterate that you do not need optical flares or any of the software uh, I use here. I actually made this entire effect in HitFilm Express, which is a completely free software, or you can use uh, the TV show footage. Uh, they actually use the the tribal coin glow as the glow in the morph. So let's jump right back into After Effects, and we're going to add a slight rotation to our little glow here. It may look like uh, nothing right now, but after we duplicate this and then reverse the rotation, um, we're going to put the duplicated layer on screen as well. And you get this cool dynamic glow that looks a lot like the show. Now what you can do is add some brightness and contrast uh, to your liking. This You really don't have to follow this step. I just thought that it needed like a little Bit of contrast and a little less brightness to make it kind of pop out more. You can also add other glows of different colors to give it more of a dynamic look, but right now I'm going to be talking about the Morpher Plate. Now the Morpher Plate I made through a picture I took on my cell phone of the Morpher and then I masked out uh, just what I needed of the Morpher. And now I have this clean plate which you can actually download through the link in the description and you don't need to give me credit. I really don't care. You could pretty much find this picture on Google anyways. Uh, but yeah, so it should work for you if you're working in a 1080p comp. Um, if you're not, then you may need to scale it up or down. But next we're going to move the duplicated glow layer up and then give it a circle mask and then set that circle mask to subtract so we have the outside of the glow and not the inside of the glow. Then we're going to feather it in order for the morpher to look like it's glowing, which again is very much reminiscent of the show. It's more show accurate, so I just decided to add it in. Next, you're going to add a solid again and mask around the solid so it fits inside the morpher so we can still see the background glow. And this is going to be used for the lightning. Now what I'm going to do is pre-comp this and select the first option. Uh, I don't think it matters if you do that or not, but I just did it just in case. Now, like I said, this uh, comp is this pre-comp is going to be for the lightning, which uh, I generated through the generation tool and uh, choose advanced lightning. And then I may have an adjustment layer that changes the blue lightning to whatever lightning or the red lightning to whatever kind of lightning I want. So I can change it to green. I could change it to pink if I wanted to. I could make it a rainbow color, but right now we're going to for, we want blue. So what you're going to do next is uh, look up advanced lightning 
in your effects tab. Place it down. Change the lightning type to two-way strike. And then you're going to copy and paste or duplicate your lightning and put it on every corner so basically the entire screen is full of lightning. You're also going to want to change the animate the conductivity of the lightning so it moves and jitters. You probably want to do that first before you duplicate your lightning. Uh, but I'm going to fast forward and place all my lightning down. After you're satisfied with all your lightning placed down, we're going to change some some glow settings. Like you're going to change your lightning to red. Fast forward through this process again. All right, now we have our red lightning. Uh, you're going to also want to add a blank black solid to the bottom of your lightning because the lightning automatically comes out transparent so you still want that black background in there as well and then we're going to again just adjust some of the mask settings so uh we can have some lightning poking out of the morpher next we're going to add our actor in so we're going to drag the footage in and then we're going to mask around our actor to just select what we need because we don't need like all that extra junk in the background like we don't need it so we're just going to mask around it and then we're going to key it with key light we're going to select the green screen color and then we're going to adjust our key settings to uh create a perfect little mat of just our actor which it seems like we have it. I'm just going to fiddle around with it more to see if I can do it any better. Which I don't think I can. So once we have that, we'll turn on all our other layers and then move our actor. So he fits pretty much in the center of the screen. This seems okay for now. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We're basically almost done. Uh, if you don't have a green screen or if you wanted to just do the season one morph where it's just their hands, you can either... Have them wear a green shirt or mask around them. Either way, it's gonna work. Now we're going to add the adjustment layer and add in the change color to effect. Then you're going to select the color that you wish to change, which I'm gonna choose red, and then I'm gonna change it to a blue. So now we have blue lightning like we did before. And now I th think that's about it. I think we're, we're pretty much done. As you can see, our two effects, uh, look pretty much identical um and they look very show accurate in my personal opinion compared to a lot of uh some other mighty morph and power ranger morphs i'm just gonna move the position a little bit and scale now we have a pretty good looking uh, mighty morph and power rangers morph uh, i'd like to thank you guys so much for watching uh this wasn't a requested tutorial however i really wanted to do this tutorial because i really wanted to get my interpretation of the morph uh out there so uh thank you guys for watching see you guys later hey don't forget to like and subscribe also you can share this video with your friends let me know in the comments what you want to see next time you can also follow me on these social media accounts and i'll see you guys later okay bye so i'm just going to look up advanced lightning and then drop it in you can hear the, f the phone because my girlfriend's gonna is being a dick and texting me as I'm recording. This is going in. This is going at the tail end of the video.